What's up, YouTube? Decided to vlog earlier in the week today. Uh, been a long week. Uh, Sherelle is coming home late from her friend's house. I got home a little early. Decided I wanted to surprise her and to cook. Um, or, excuse me the way I'm talking. I got Invisalign. I got them the other day. I'm kind of conscious of it because I feel like I talk funny now. I wonder if it's going to be a glare on the screen when I talk. But anyway, wanted to see if I can cook. What can I cook? It's been a while since I've done it by myself. So I decided to call my mom. I know when I call, she's gonna say you. Since I'm the helicopter mom, don't call me. You can do it by yourself. Let me call her and see how to thaw meat out faster than normal. Cause Sherelle's on her way home by so looking in the fridge and none of the meat's thawed out. So I know mom can help me with it. Let's call her. I hear her voice now. Oh, you calling me out? Huh? You say, yeah, I'm the helicopter mom. Don't call me. Plus, she, she got kind of offended with the helicopter joke from the last vlog, but Lord knows how much I depend on my mom. I'm so appreciative of her. Uh, I'm always looking for her. <laughs> A lot of the times, not even her, it's me, because she knows I'll, I don't know what I'll be without her. They call it a helicopter. For those who don't know what a helicopter mom is, that's a mom that hovers over her child. Uh, I mess with her a lot because I'm not a child anymore, I'm a man, but I still be, I still look up in the sky for the helicopter. Go now and see if she can help me in the kitchen. Not that I need it because I'm a good cook, I'm pro chef bar ship, but I don't know how to thaw meat. And there's only a few minutes left before she really gets home. I need to thaw the meat. Hello? I want to surprise Sherelle and cook for her, but the meat ain't thawed out. How do I throw out pork chops? Oh. She, I think she's on her way home now. You need to be done. What, what you say, Maria? Maria said too late. Um, you can come put them, what they get still in the packet? Uh-huh. Y'all got defrost on your microwave? Uh, defrost, defrost. Uh, yeah, we do. Take them out. Take them. Two, three paper towels. I take them. Take, huh? take them out of the pack or keep them in the pack. Yeah. Take the saran wrap off of them. Mm -hmm. You can leave them like that. You know, just put them on a plate, but cover it with. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Say, take them out or keep them in. No, take them out. Take them out. Put them in a bowl or something. Yeah. Put water in it. No, no, no water. Not. All right. But just cover the meat with like a paper towel, double the paper towel, mm -hmm. and just hit deep for it. Defrost, I don't know if y'all have a setting for meat, mm -hmm. but some type of defrosting. But after they go for about a minute, flip the meat over and defrost again. But keep an eye on it so you make sure you don't look like it's starting to cook it. It can't stand there too long. All right. How, what you, how are you going to try to cook them in the oven? Yeah, I, what should I do? Just season them and put them in the oven? Season them, put them in the oven, and let them sit in a little water and cover them up with aluminum foil. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Okay, you are. I got all the answers. My helicopter mom gave me the answers, so I know what to do to defrost the pork chops just enough time before Sherelle gets home. And I'll go now. I'm not gonna show you guys how the whole cooking demo like we did on the previous vlog. Just know I know how to put down Chef Boy or Ship signing out. So Sherelle's in for a treat of surprises when she arrives home this evening uh we ordered the crib uh she didn't know when it was going to come in but it came in i don't like the fact that they left it at the door when i got home who's to know who someone could have came and took it but she's going to be surprised when she walks through the door and sees the crib i left it right here so when she comes through the door she's going to see the crib i'm gonna i'm gonna try to Listen out for her so I can get it on camera. So when she comes home, she's gonna be surprised from a meal that I'm preparing now. And she's gonna be surprised with the new crib for Little Ray. She says we have to decorate this room because he can be here any day after the, the next two weeks. So we'll see. So that's her pulling up right now. I hear her in the driveway. 
I have the box set up right here so when she comes in she'll see it so kind of excited to see her, her expression I think she'll be excited she knows it's on its way but she's not aware that it came a day so why is she knocking she has a key who is it who is it who is it Hmm? Oh, it came! Where was it at? <laughs> <laughs> they left it outside. They, left, they just left it outside? Mm hmm. I had to pick it up and put it in the house. Oh, Lord. Yay! You excited? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what Larry said? He's moving around because he's hungry. Why are you carrying all the bags? That's groceries. Hey, groceries. So come in the kitchen. I tried to start cooking, but the meat didn't thaw out. Huh? I tried to start cooking, but the meat didn't thaw out. I tried. I tried. You, you guys, tried, but there's nothing on here. It's on. It's, it's right here, though. Oh. How you gonna tell me I'm gonna cook dinner, and there's nothing thawed out? Well, I got this food, so. I cook. What food? I, I'm, I got some salmon. Okay. And uh, broccoli and corn, and your cauliflower rice, since you're trying to eat healthy. Well, I guess it's a thought that count, right? So I try it. Yeah, it's so, a thought that counts. So that means I get lucky tonight? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is Saturday, uh, late morning. Just got back from an event from work. Uh, but decided that I need to get in this yard. Uh, since we moved in the house, I have yet to cut the grass. But uh, my dad's groomed me well, taught me well, so I'm pretty good at cutting the grass cutting grass not too good with any other handy stuff cars changing oil any of that that's something we need to work on but um we're gonna get in the yard today Sherelle's in the house she said she's gonna come out and help me I don't know yet I don't want her to do too much she says she's gonna get in the weeds see the island people know how to do yards and whatnot I've yet to see her do anything in the yard since I've known her but um get in this yard and cut got my hat on block the sun my shades I got my equipment. Let's see what I have. My dad, I borrowed all this from my dad. I know he's gonna see this video and say, that's my lawnmower. But thanks dad, well I'm asking you now. But anyway, my lawnmower, got my weed eater, got some, um, where is it? Some weed and feed, I need the weed and feed cause this grass isn't doing too good. Uh, I guess they didn't keep it up, the owners of the house. Uh, before us, what else do I have? I'm do the weed and feed. I got my clippers, gonna ask these hedges. Wish I can do a uh, before and after. Look at these weeds over here. Sherelle's gonna try to get these weeds out. I completed the I've completed the front yard. Now this is where the real work happens in this backyard. This backyard is pretty big, but uh, it's a square, uh, a perfect square, so it should be pretty simple. Just go up and back, up and back, up and back. I think I got it. But getting a lot done. Thinking about a lot of things. Getting a lot of things done. Planning my future. Thinking about Little Ray. And uh, just feel good to be able to cut your own grass. Came a long way from my mama's house. <laughs> Sleeping on my mama's couch. But yeah, I have to cut all this back here too. I have to cut out here by the water. Hope there's no alligators out here.
good job so far. Still got more to do. They make us mow the embankment. My job is supposed to get all these weeds out of here. I did a good job so far, but my back is hurting. I'm breathing hard. I just gotta figure out how to get these pesky little like weeds out of our rocks. I don't understand why they're here. And then there's some weeds back in that corner back there, but there's a frog living in one of the rocks. So I'm not gonna touch that thing. Mm -mm -mm. I have to wait till Ray comes and puts salt on it. Let's see if he comes out. Oop, there he is. You see him? Get out, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Yeah, so I'm not coming over there. Cause he might do something to me, I don't know. But this is my job, cleaning out all these green weeds out of these rocks, which is so time consuming. If you guys know of any ways to get the weeds out quicker, I heard there's some spray like, I don't know, weed and feed or something, I don't know. So we gotta find some spray so the weeds won't come back in the rocks. He did a good job on the front yard too, huh? Looks really, really good. No lines, cause I said I didn't want any lines and he did good. Very, very good. Take a break. I am tired red, baby. Tired? Yeah, almost done. Tastes good? Yeah. In the front? Yeah, but I'm, I'm, we have to get some more spray. What spray? The, like the weed and feed stuff? We got some. We don't? Yeah. You bought some? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see you buy any. So we're finished. Finally. Uh, we got a workout in. Little Ray got some laps in. Yeah. We worked out and getting strong, getting his muscles. What we got for the rest of the day? Relax. Relax. Funny thing about it is, I actually enjoy like cleaning the house, going to home goods, going to city furniture. Like that's my new hobby. I like that. We don't have to go yeah, to the club. Yeah, he's obsessed now with house and decorating stuff. We don't have to go to the club. We don't have to go to one way. We just go look at a magazine, get a catalog, go to home goods. We went to IKEA yesterday. My first time in IKEA. 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 Yeah. Yo, <laughs> yo, we can and go back. He wanted to get everything out of IKEA. I I'm wanted like, everything. No. She said only certain things, so she's not big on Ikea's furniture. But, uh, it's too low. We're so tall. Like, the furniture is too low for us, you know? You know? But, looks like I just saw something in the water. May go out here try to catch me a couple of bass before I take it in. Yeah. Yeah. You nervous? <laughs> That's how who happened? That's the sperm. sperm going in? Yeah. And then it makes the baby, see? That is so cool. That's, remember we saw him when that was that little? Uh-huh. That's how you That's definitely not how little Ray looks. <laughs> and that's pretty cool. Weeks. See? I think he's gonna look like me. He's gonna look like me. With a button nose. No, he's gonna look like me. Uh -oh. Did you find him? You can see his face. Where's his face? Right there. Where? I can't see face. Oh, that's his face. That's his face. Oh, wait, who would he look like? Look at his lips. He got my lips. He got my lips. Look at those lips. Wait, right? He got my lips. That's my boy. Look at that. <laughs> ah, that's my boy. He got a nose like you look like it, Sherelle. That's my boy. Look at him. Look at him, y'all. You see him, Sherelle? That's the placenta? Look at him. What up, man? What's up, man? See, look, look at my lips. I, I look at his lips. Right That's my boy. That's 
my boy. Look at him. That's his hand. You see those hands? Those basketball hands, football hands. He could catch. Yeah, look at that. Look at that hand. Look at him. His fist. It's a fist. It's a fist. So maybe boxing. Okay, maybe maybe a little Mayweather in the future. Ali. That's my boy. That's my boy, Shiro. Oh, That's my boy. <laughs> Look at them lips. So how cool was that? That was so cool. And like I said, he looks like me. He looks like me. He has her nose, but it's gonna look like me. Yeah, it was like a, it wasn't a doctor's office, but it's like a maternity or prenatal spa. So I get to go back there for a prenatal massage also. So I'm excited about that. Cause my back has been hurting a lot lately. So I want a massage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is this a special type of massage? Like? Yeah, yeah. Like they have, like the massage chair has an opening for the hole and an opening for the chest. So you won't hurt anything. Uh, it was cool. I never saw anything like that. Yeah, it was cool. It was 3D or 4D. Yeah. We found out he weighs about four pounds right now. Yep. They said he's turned already, so that's a big thing right now. So he yeah, can come. They say he's head down already. If he would have come tomorrow, he would be healthy. That's what they said. We passed that trimester, right? Yeah, but if he comes like 36 weeks, he'll be healthy. Okay. So if he was to come right now, he would stay. He would that's have to stay at Nick. Nick, Nick, Nick you. Nick Nick you. Yeah. All right, then. It's Sunday. Uh, she's leaving me once again. She's going to a baby shower. Go figure. And then I got some studying to do, so. We'll see y'all later. See y'all later.